Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mer- Why am I introducing myself? <laughs> Hello. Why? What is this? Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle. And today I am back with another vegan recipe, obviously. Now this reminds me of, remember the TikTok pasta, the feta pasta that went viral? of like 2002, I think, or maybe 2001, I don't remember. Anyway, we did a vegan version of that here on this channel years ago, and you guys loved it. You were super excited about it. So now, this is also kind of an old trend, nobody's surprised. We're gonna do a vegan iteration on it, and that's the Marry Me Chicken. I believe that it gets its name because it's like, it's so good that whoever makes it for you, you're gonna wanna marry them kind of thing. We're gonna be doing an iteration of that. And I found the original inspo for this one by a creator who sort of took the lion's mane mushroom, which I've usually only seen used as a steak and they used it for chicken. That's super cool. I've never done that before. I'm excited to try it. I don't think we're gonna follow their recipe exactly. We're gonna kind of look back at the original Marry Me Chicken recipe and then her recipe, and then we're gonna marry the two. Because she uses white wine instead of broth, and, I, and in a lot of the Marry Me Chicken recipes, I saw people using broth and not wine, but you know, whatever. Also, I don't have any wine because I'm doing a year of no drinking. Yes, please, a round of applause, definitely appropriate. That's no easy feat. So we don't have any wine and I'm not buying a bottle of wine just for this, I'm just not. So, so there. Other than that, um, this recipe looks really good. It's basically like a creamy garlic chicken recipe. If you're not familiar with the lion's mane mushroom, we have tried the lion's mane steak, which I think is what it's most well known for. The texture of lion's mane mushroom is pretty darn good. Now I never eat them because they're so expensive at least in LA. I got the ones I got today at Whole Foods and they were $9 a box. So that means in one box only had two mushrooms in it. Basically $5 per mushroom. It was $9.99, so you know, technicality, but with tax, I'm sure it was more than that. So anyway, this is not math corner, nor will it ever be. Let's just get into it, huh? I'm really hungry. So let's go. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take a cast iron pan. I got a tabletop conduction index, my induction heater thing. What was I saying? This way you guys can see it from the top down. Now, I do think it's gonna be noisy. You just never know until you try, so whatever. If it sounds like a wind, a gust is blowing through the kitchen, it's this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this up to a medium high heat. We're gonna put our mushrooms in there. You can use another pan or you can use, I used a baking pan. Use your pan or whatever you're gonna use and squish them down. Basically you wanna press down on that so they release their water content, which they will, oh they will. So they get a meatier texture. There we go. You just wanna keep your eye on it so that it doesn't cause chaos in your kitchen. So we're gonna cook them, sear them really, on both sides for about three to five minutes. I seared one side, then I flipped, seared the other side, press, 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 flipped it again, added some more vegan butter, added some fresh rosemary, fresh sage, some lemon juice, and some vegetable broth instead of the white wine. We're gonna season it because a, it's gonna taste better, and B, I know you're gonna come for me if I don't, even if it's vegan chicken. So we're gonna do it properly. I've got a nice little blend here. I've got some garlic powder, I've got a little bit of onion powder, I've got lemon pepper, salt. I've got a little bit of this mushroom seasoning. I really like it. And then I've got some smoked paprika. So let's apply some seasoning so it can really hopefully kind of caramelize on there. Then we're gonna take them out and we're gonna let them sit for a little bit. All right, so let me just say, I decided to go ahead and cut into these lion's mane mushroom steaks, not steaks, chicken breasts and they look incredible. Like the texture of them is really good. The overall like experience of observing them is nice. 
It's a weird way to say that I like the way they look. Cooking out the liquid, but they still look nice and succulent. Like they're not dried out by any means. So anyway, I'm, I'm just saying these look really, really good. Like they're just cool. They're really cool to see here. They kind of look like pork in a way. Like I wonder if they would be good for like a pork belly, like ramen, some, so maybe I should do that someday. Anyway, not today. So, whoa, joke's on you. I've got extra lemon juice. All right, so now we're gonna make our cashew cream sauce. Don't mind that this is a mug. I'm not gonna be like drinking this. We have about a cup of soaked cashews here. Hope this fits. Okay, we're making it work so far. Okay, and then I've got some oat milk. I'm sure you could use any non-dairy milk. About a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna put a little less. I took a little taste of the lion's mane chicken and it tasted very lemony, so yeah. Three cloves of garlic, some salt, healthy dose, and some pepper. All right, let's blend it up. I'm very new to the whole like bullet blender world and we love you. All right, let's try it. I kind of feel like it needs a little bit more liquid. It needs to be a little more liquidy. Add a little bit more salt. Oh yeah, that looks better. Now we're gonna make our marry me sauce. Make sure after you sear your chicken that you save that pan because any of the good caramelization that might still be on the bottom, any of those burnt caramelized bits, you're gonna want that. That can only aid in the flavor making of this dish. And I saw on a lot of the like actual chicken, marry me chickens, they didn't use onions, but for this one she did. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use like two tablespoons of butter and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of the sun-dried tomato oil, and a little bit more, yeah. And then we're gonna add in our onion and our garlic. We're gonna saute that until the onion is translucent. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the red pepper flakes, oregano, thyme, salt, and pepper. And I'm gonna add in just a little bit more vegetable stock. I'm gonna let that kind of come to a simmer, and then I'm gonna mix in the creamy cashew garlic sauce that we made, about a cup of that. Then I'm gonna toss in my sliced up lion's mane chicken. It looks shockingly good. Like, 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 not like tastes good, just like chicken-ish, ish, chickeny. We're gonna add in a little bit of basil as well. Then we're gonna pepper in our sun-dried tomatoes and that's pretty much it. This is just gorgeous. Are you seeing this shit? Oh my goodness. As a centerpiece, for your friends coming over for dinner, your family, you and your cat, maybe a dog, maybe a little scruffy dog, who knows, mutt, rescue, hopefully. Well, I don't know if they can eat it, but you know, they can watch you eat it. They can beg for it. <laughs> I have no idea, you'd have to look that up. Whoever, whatever, your situation. You guys, uh, you just better dust your damn knees off because it's about to go down. Look at you, I'm so proud of you. Also me, I'm proud of me. It just looks so gorgeous, like with the sun-dried tomatoes and the fresh basil and the cream sauce. God, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. You are so beautiful. This looks so good. I mean, I don't even need to eat this, but I'm going to. Like, what? I wanna get a good schmear of all the goodness here. You want a bite? Too slow. Sorry, that was mean. Here, seriously, you should try it. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, this is happening so fast. I, I didn't, I, I. Let's talk business. So I love the sauce it's in. I love the sun-dried tomato. The mushroom is really delicious. Now it's not as chickeny in texture, like, it's not gonna fool someone, okay? So if that was your intention, it's not this. But as a dish, as a standalone dish, wow. Like Mr. Chicken, seven out of 10. It's got a fattier texture than that. The creaminess from the cashew sauce is just bringing so much combined with the basil and the depth of flavor from the sun-dried tomatoes. And then, I mean, the lion's mane is bringing a hell of a texture. I have a feeling this would be very filling, but like, we're not using heavy cream, so we're not gonna feel like trash after. So that's a huge win. This is like de deluxe, I would say. Like this would be something I would make for a special dinner. If the lion's manes are cheaper for you, have at it. The amount of mushrooms I used in this was $20. Just the mushrooms, not the cashews, not the sun-dried tomatoes. All of those are really expensive. So this ended up being a very pricey dish, but for a special occasion, so I think the overall flavor, I'm gonna give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Really delicious, 
She did not steer us wrong. If you want a cheaper option for this, use portobello mushroom. Cut the price at least half. And if you do make this for someone and they do propose for you, you're going to need a website for your wedding. You know, like a registry, all the photos. And that's why we're gonna talk a little bit about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out online. Whether you are a beginner, you've never made a website, or someone who already has a bit of experience, Squarespace can help you get your work out there to the masses. Whether you're selling products or courses or time, Squarespace is the place to put your work. If you're looking to be a food content creator, Squarespace has powerful blogging tools to share stories, photos, videos, and updates so you can categorize and even schedule your posts. With Squarespace, you can sell your products in an online store, whether you sell physical, digital, or service products. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That is www.squarespace.com slash for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, thank you so much, Squarespace. I appreciate you. Let's get back to the video. That was fun. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. We are so fancy today. I hope you guys like this one. I hope you enjoy, I hope you make it. It's really, really good. Let me know if you decide to try this one. In the meantime, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. If you wanna hang out with me between videos, all my social links are in the description. I got a Discord, we got TikTok, we got Instagram, you name it, we got it. So go down below, check out today's sponsor, Squarespace, and thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big pound, take that like button to pound down. If you like this video, prove it. Thanks for being my little dinner date. I'm gonna go finish this whole entire pan. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao for now. All right, ta-ta, toodaloo, bye-bye. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, this is happening so fast. I, I didn't, I, I, we've only been seeing each other for,